two critical core competencies of any product organization on, for an internet team. Uh, really, the first is what we call user prototypes and user testing. The idea here at your, is you're building very quick, um, very quick con prototypes that aren't real. They aren't actually uh, functional. They're all fake data. But uh, we can quickly produce these in a day, anywhere from hours to a couple days. And the benefits of these prototypes is that we can very quickly put the idea in front of actual users and me measure their response. The benefits of these kind of prototypes are that um, we can quickly learn. Um, they are quick to develop. They don't require developers. They're typically just a, a designer will build them. Um, and we can get big learnings. It's all, it's all subjective and it's all uh, qualitative, but it is big learnings. The other kind of, the other core competency is called uh, live data prototypes with split testing. Now this is different. Um, the advantage is that we get real data. Now the disadvantage is that you have to build it. It's code. Developers write this, means it takes a little longer to build, and there's an opportunity cost to them building this, but it is, um, there are many questions that can only be answered with live data. And so uh, that's why we use live data prototypes. We actually test them, and normally in a split test, which is where we have a percentage of our traffic going to the new prototypes, uh, to the prototype, and then the uh, regular traffic goes to the live site, and we compare the results. Th uh, those two basic methods, user prototype and live data prototyping, they're complementary. The general principle is that you want to test your ideas the cheapest, fastest way you can for many things. We can do that with a user prototype very quickly and in front of users. For some things, we actually need live data in which to know whether it works or not, and that's where we use live data prototypes. All organizations need to be good at both. The general rule of thumb is that there, to really prove something works, you generally need a, a live data prototype. However, to really understand why something doesn't work and what it would take to make it work, we, we answer that with user prototypes. Mm -hmm.